everybody, welcome back to some more Planet Coaster working on our Seatopia Park. Well, the new Seatopia, Seatopia 2.0, something like that. Uh, remember guys, if you're enjoying Planet Coaster and want to see more in the future, hit that like button, leave a comment, leave something letting me know that you want to see more. Got some good feedback from you guys last time. Someone mentioned, hey, you should toss some uh, ATMs in the outside so people can with withdraw money when they come in. I was like, oh, that's a good idea. I like that. Someone also said we should put some posters or something on the front here since we get these big empty spaces and I also like that. So we tossed down a gulpy and a king coaster. And I forgot we get the shiny gold king coaster since we did pre-order the game. Well, we got the pre-order bonuses uh, from Frontier. So that was pretty cool. Got a little shiny king coaster running around. Man, that fountain's huge. Another person suggested taking this big plaza, popping out the center, and then putting a nice little fountain on the inside. So I thought that was a good idea as well. Kind of mixes it up a little bit, keeps it from looking quite as plain and boring as it was. Just put some bushes on the outside, the inside, and so put some benches on the outside, and then uh, tossing some of these lights in. So all in all, just making the space feel a little bit more useful, a little bit more used, I suppose. Uh, today we work on a couple things. We add the first ride to Seatopia, and we also add a couple more buildings. Again, these buildings, um, they're supposed to be like fake buildings that like you imagine you go inside, walk around in. So people are saying, hey, you got some wasted space inside of the Chief Beef. Uh, imagine it's like a big fancy two-story like sit-down restaurant or maybe the like, offices is on the top. So I could put multiple stuff, but we got so much room in this park that we got plenty of space to go ahead and build whatever we want and just spread out. So uh, we do do that a few more times. In this episode, I build a couple of restaurant looking buildings that don't actually function as restaurants. In fact... Uh, one of them is like a gift shop and the other one is like a gulpy energy drink and gulpy slushy stand But again, these are just generally fake buildings that uh, It's just part of the illusion. All right. That's just the kind of uh, It's hard to describe but you guys know what I'm talking about They're they're not real buildings because you don't actually use them They're just there to kind of fill in the space and look nice and set the theme of the area quite a bit uh, This is the first one we work on just kind of go with an unusual building design. I think it comes up pretty pretty cool if I do say so myself, removing the railings along the path there just so we can actually get on in there. Uh, Try out a couple different things on this building, kind of experiment. I didn't really have a set plan or design in mind when I started building this structure, but it just kind of went with it as we went along, and I think it comes out pretty cool. Over on the second level here, I knew I wanted some sort of terrace or rooftop patio or something, so a place where people can go and eat. Uh, and then we're going to put in some fake chairs and stuff up there, fake tables and chairs. It's actually a picnic table I downloaded off the Steam Workshop because I have made them in the past and it's always just annoying. So I went to the Steam Workshop and just downloaded one real quick. And it looks really, really good. I like it. So for this building over here, we're putting two gulpy stands. We're putting the gulpy energy drinks and the gulpy slushy stand. Look at Chief Beef walking around down there. Oh man, I love Chief Beef. He's so cool. Looking like a chief and all that. These things I thought were really cool. So we just take these wooden posts, stick them out there. And I originally uh, wanted them just kind of like a visual interest. And then I realized, wait, you know what would be cool if you put some hanging lanterns on them. I think it looks really nice and also uh, just helps light up the area. They don't give off too much light, but they do look pretty nice. I will say that much. It was a little tricky trying to figure out exactly how I was going to put them on the corner here. Just trying to get them to fit because, I mean, it's a perfectly straight line that I kind of wanted to bend. Uh, but then we decided, okay, I'll just pull that post out pretty far and that way I can still grab it. And look like it's being suspended by that. So there you go. Added some more trash cans around there because I realized people were chucking their trash everywhere. Despite the fact that I had trash cans everywhere, I guess that wasn't enough for them. It also helps that we don't have any janitors in the park yet. <laughs> At one point I do notice that, hey, these uh, trash cans are getting kind of full. I should probably get uh, someone to empty them. So we will do that in this episode in case you notice any of the trash cans are remarkably full. And I knew the janitors went and did stuff the trash cans, but I didn't know they were actually emptying it. They go up to it and they like they stuff their broom down it, but the trash cans do get full and people stop using them. So that's pretty interesting to know. <laughs> I like how there's so many people in this park right now. At this point, it's just a place where you go buy a hamburger and then you go buy a drink. But I guess we're not charging admission, so that's okay. Put some gulpy signs on there just to kind of let people know what's in there. Copying and pasting to the other side. First, I was adding these seats to the top, and then I realized they're not actually going to go anywhere because they're separate blueprints from the building, so I could have just copied and pasted right there. But whatever. And some nice little barrel plants up there. I wish we had some more planters like this and flower beds. That'd be good. We do have the window flower beds. I probably could have repurposed those. I just now thought of that, so maybe that's something I will go add because the barrels don't really fit this area super well. They look a little bit too rustic. I know the lantern lights do look a bit rustic, but I decided uh, they, they'd fit there just fine. Uh, added a just a memento 
Wait, was that just a memento? No, it's Looney Balloons and Hat Fantastic. Hat Fantastic? That's the sound it makes when you put them down. <laughs> In case you didn't know. Uh, so to mix that up over there, added a hat stand and a balloon shop. So people start walking around with balloons. Man, every time I say that, the balloon shop, it just makes me think of the YouTube channel, Balloon Shop. God, those guys were awesome back in the day. I wanted to put some in this spot over here to try seeing how a little bit of a pond would look. Didn't really like it. Then I found Chief Beef. I was like, ooh, hey there, Chiefy. Where do you want to go, buddy? Uh, he's too big. I, there's not really any spaces for him. We'll find a place for him at some point. You guys know I am in love with Chief Beef, and I don't care who knows. <laughs> shout, it, shout it from the mountaintops. <laughs> Whatever. I really like these sort of, uh, I don't know, these ambiguous, well, they're, they're, they're planet coaster symbol, but I just think they're really cool design and they fit in this area pretty well and they do glow at night, so that's pretty, pretty cool. Adding some lanterns right there. Uh, I do need to light up that entrance a little bit more. Wanted to add some lights on the inside just so it glows a little bit from the, in there. I don't know if you saw, but I did uh, make those corners square and set around, so I think that looks quite a bit better. We also punched through the walls there so people can actually walk through. Did I even record that? Was it in this video? I don't actually remember. Oh well. Over here working on the first ride for the area and we are doing a log flume. A lot of people have been asking for it ever since the game came out. Ever since the beta came out. I haven't actually built one in a park yet. I thought that was pretty crazy. Uh, so I thought a treat you guys and we'll do a log flume right off the bat. I actually went. This is going to blow your guys' mind. I went and looked up videos of log flumes. I found one where it was this YouTube video. Where these guys were going down the log flume for the entire ride, they were just singing, "We're on a log flume, we're on a log flume, we're on a for, for five minutes." They were just singing, "We're on a log." Flume. It was so annoying. The video had so many dislikes. It was hilarious. I thought it was funny. <laughs> it was kind of cringy at the same time, you know. Even though I, I do hate that word, it was kind of dumb. <laughs> we're on a log flume. We're on a log flume. That might be the episode title for this. <laughs> it was pretty pretty dumb. But there you go, already finished the log flume. We have uh, basically two big splashdown areas. Uh, they're both equal height. Well, the first one I think is a little bit steeper. No, I think because that one's higher off the ground, so they might be uh, about the same steepness. Next, two big splash zones there. I think it came out pretty nice. So I've got some ideas of how they work and how this can be little bends and kind of meandering at the beginning. Give you guys, instead of just going straight onto the chain level, it's not like a train, it's like a conveyor belt system. There we go, and starting to build on the actual building. Uh, for the structure of all this, I want to do something, probably something a lot of people do, but I want to take my own little spin on it, which is a, whatchamajigger, kind of a sawmill? That's the word I can think of, because I mean, it is a log flume ride, so you can imagine there's going to be logs and stuff, so there's going to be a sawmill for wood. Kind of those old school ones where they drifted, drift the wood in on water, and then cut it up and then distribute it from there, so that's the main idea here. I decided that roof was a little bit too high, so we're going to go with kind of a barn style roof here, where it goes off uh, the metal roof in one layer, and then we're going to have kind of the half wall up there, and then finish it up there with a nice little peak, and here I was trying to decide exactly what height we wanted that peak to be at, but then decided to go up a little bit, because it does hang off the edge a little bit. <clears throat> it's a little bit too high, but it works. I think it looked better than having it too low. And then just filling in the wood space there, there we go. It looks a little lopsided just because we don't have the other side of the triangle on right now. And it's not exactly centered, but that's okay. I definitely wanted to make this all rustic look, and that's why we're using the... It's not the natural wood, I think it's like the... I don't know what this wood is called. Because the natural wood is the more vertical wood texture in the game. Don't quite recall. Doing a little dress set in the inside is either put some logs, kind of stick them up in a little pile, and then uh, spin some of them around just so they're not all facing the same angle. And then add in some gears and stuff. Take this random box, flip it over. We're gonna add some saws to the top. Just so you can imagine this is like they push the wood along and slice it. And then we're gonna go open the outside of the building, pop it the side open, and then toss some cut up logs right there. So kind of you can imagine this is where like the logs fell as they uh, were cut up. There we go. I thought that was pretty cool looking. Rel rel relatively simple, not super highly detailed, but it gets the point across, gets the job done. And I think it's pretty nice looking. Add in some little wall pieces up there to kind of fill in that because it looked a little bare with just the uh, the wooden post going, cutting through it. And then over here is something, oh, this is going to take a while. Actually, it took a while in game. It uh, should go by relatively quickly for you guys. So we're just going to make a nice little wall out of the wooden uh, logs. Dropping logs. <laughs> uh, how immature. <laughs> Add in some all along the side here to kind of uh, just conceal the splash pad area. Uh, the splash area, not really sure what it's called. And I think it comes out pretty nice looking, so you can imagine um, all this stuff was cut during some logging. 
Oh, actually what I meant to do, I've seen, uh, I actually saw someone do this somewhere else on the planet because I subreddit, where like they sink down the logs into the ground so it makes it look like the uh, area of the forest has been clear cut. I want to do that in this area to kind of give the, uh, the feeling of a log, log, uh, clear cut area where the, they're harvesting logs. So we'll have to go back and do that later. See, there's so many times like this where I only remember things once I'm actually doing the voiceovers. I'm like, oh, I gotta remember to do that and hopefully I will. If I don't, Oh man, someone's gonna pay. Probably me. <laughs> Doing some terrain editing down through there. Adding a couple little hills. Kind of going up underneath the hills there. Just trying to give it a little bit more interesting terrain. Definitely want to do that a lot more in this park than we have in the past. Don't want the park to just be all flat and boring and nasty. Adding kind of like a deck area underneath the main path. Or the main queue to the entrance. I mean, this is going to be a very, very popular ride. Because it is currently the only ride in the park. So people are going to want to go on it quite quite a bit. Uh, we do have a lot. I mean, there's a lot. I think we have 10 log flumes, so it should go pretty quickly. People shouldn't really have to wait in line too long, but it's still going to back up eventually. Uh, hopefully, we'll, this will be entertaining for them because I did purposely place it underneath one of the hills and then right next to one of the exits, or I guess it's the beginning of the ride, so people have something interesting to look at while they're waiting. <laughs> I love all the random splashes you see in the background. It's cool. Tossing some barrels and stuff in there, and now I decided, okay, we need to light this up. I just uh, haphazardly placing some lanterns around there. Nothing too fancy. And a nice little entrance area here. And you think if we get a name for this, we'll probably put that up on top. I knew want to actually name all the rides in this. I kind of got lazy about that in the sci-fi park. Like, we named a couple of them and actually put the signs up, but I do do want to uh, put them on here. I uh, give these rides names and actually put them on the sign, so... You guys need to keep me on that. If I don't do it, I need you to come over to my house, ring the doorbell, I'll open it and just slap me in the face and say, see top. Name your rides. So if you guys have any ideas for the names of the rides, definitely let me know in the comments below. All that good stuff. Adding some uh, detail in there, just so it's not just grass going into the barn. And then my favorite bushes and trees, yay! Everybody loves bushes and trees. No, just me? Okay. <laughs> definitely want it to be relatively foresty. I'll probably clear cut that area to the left of it and make that like the, the areas where all the trees were cut down and we'll just have a bunch of stumps. I think that'll be a cool little a cool little design piece. So I'll do that probably in the next episode. Uh, we'll probably try and do at least one or two rides every episode or maybe like one ride, one building, kind of like we did here. We did two little buildings and a ride. So I'll just try and keep it relatively consistent in terms of what we're getting done. It's harder for me to do this because every time we've done the parks like this in the past, I've had Sections. Okay, we'll do three episodes in this section, three episodes in this section, four episodes in this section, but this park's just gonna be a lot more free flowing. I'm waving my hands around like a crazy person right now, and you guys can't even see it. It's gonna be a lot more free flowing, just making things up as we go along, having some initial ideas, and then just trying to make a consistent theme park. You know, that sort of thing. The sort of thing that I think about and no one else really cares about, but <laughs> adding some triggers here. Uh, so when you splash down here, there's going to be a little bit of an extra splash with some water shooting up. Thought that'd be fun. Nice little addition to that. Now what are we going to do? Adding some rocks and bushes. All throughout there. Yeah, I think that's where I'll put the little clear cut section of the forest. I think that'd be cool. Something to look at before we actually hop on the ride. Which we should be doing any second now. At some point. Or we are just looking at some rides. Just for funsies. Where we go the log flume ride. I speed up a little bit because it is a little slow. We're just going to kind of make our way through here. So it kind of meanders through there, left and right. Now really straight line goes up. Then a nice little curve up here. Then back up to the big one. And then you got to you gotta let the people wait. We'll do a little bit of decline here. Just give them a little bit of a rush. It speeds up a tiny bit. Up another hill. Do, 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 do. Look at that sun. And then here we go. Oh, no, the big drop's coming. Oh, no. Oh, here we go. Hold on to your butts. Whee! Look at that. Those logs look cool. Oh, I like it. Splashy, splashy. It looks very, very nice. Going through a little cave there. A little overhang. That could use a little bit more detail. I think we can add some supports or something. Maybe some tools. Maybe like they're mining or something. Here's the other big drop. Oh, you go up and then immediately down. Whee! And the big splash. You can't even see the extra fountains I added in there. So it's kind of pointless from the point of view of the people on the ride. Uh, people outside the ride might think it's pretty cool. That's going to be for this episode of Planet Coaster, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.